Right then, I'm out on the, after the Robux. It's August. Weather doesn't look like August, but it is. Uh, hopefully, the book should be out rutting, but again, they'll probably go into ground with weather like this. I'm going to have a walk up. The wind's blowing in the wrong direction that I wanted, so it's going to have to change my plan of action. Uh, my dad's out on the other hill. Um, hopefully, we should get a deer on the ground with two of us being out, but weather wise I think we're going to get a bit wet today one minute it's raining next minute it's sunny and but well, the wind being like it is it might help keep that rain off but hopefully I should see a couple of bucks or even see some does anyway just see if deer are moving Well, sometimes stopping out in the rain is worthwhile. I did change my position, I was right on top of the hill and it was getting, they were hammering it down with rain. So I thought, oh, I'll move down to the lower bits where there's always deer near this wood. Well, coppice, only a tiny bit. And I made my way over and I spotted some of the thermal heat source, scanned it with binoculars and I just couldn't see its head. I thought, I'll, I'll move in close, it was about 200 yards, I thought, right, I'll work my way up and around it, it into the wind, get a bit closer. And I kept losing it, finding it, losing it, finding it in all the new planted trees. And then eventually, got it banged on there, guess what happens? My scope is wet through because of all the rain, so I had to pull my trigger camera off, because it just fogged everything up, so nothing's on camera there. Uh, so I had to wipe down my scope frantically, keep scanning, keep scanning, and there he was, stood perfect broadside. Just took the shot, it's probably about 100 yards, dropped on the spot, perfect. Uh, just couldn't get it on camera, because again, as you can see, it's very wet. But I'm going to have a walk into him now, uh, and have a look at him. Right, there he is. Whew. Perfect when they drop on the spot, you know exactly where they are. And uh, that is a good deer to take out, especially this time of the year. A little murder buck like that, he could do some damage. Really sharp on him there. But I'm not going to stand talking for a while because, as you see, it's throwing it down. So I want to get grolloped and uh, get back to the car and get some shelter. But good result, worth staying out in the rain sometimes. And as I say, I had a good little stalk on him. But well, I'll get him and get him back to the car.